Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. This morning we want to start off by talking about ways you can improve your cattle herd. We're here with our Extension Beef Cattle Specialist Dave Lallman and Dave you have a real superstar here that you've been tracking for quite some time. Tell us about her. This cow's numbers, the guys know her out here at the North Range is 230. Um, she was born in 2002 and she's been a good cow. So uh, we've our extension program the last few years we've talked a lot about cow efficiency and improving your herd and while doing that trying not to increase input costs so I thought she'd be a good example to talk about. And you brought your notes along you've been tracking her all these 14 years right? Yes ma'am that's uh, another good thing to, you know this cow is a really good example of what good records can do for you. Um, she was born for example in in 2002, she calved in 2004, four days after the Cowboys played um, Georgia Tech in the Final Four. So she's been around a while and she's done a good job. Uh, let me just give you some of her, some of her statistics. Uh, she's had 12 calves in a row and all 12 of those calves were born early in the calving season. So one thing we tell producers is select your heifers out of, well, keep the heifers that are, that are born early and keep the heifers that are bred early. Well, this cow uh, has had early calves almost every year. Um, she's calved four times in April, the first week of April, three times, I'm sorry. The other nine times she calved during the month of March, which is early in our calving season. Another interesting fact about this cow is out of those 12 years, she's had nine opportunities to become pregnant to artificial insemination. Okay, six of those nine times she's actually conceived to one-time AI, meaning she has a lifetime 67% conception rate to AI. Average conception rate in mature cows is somewhere around 50 to 55, so she's done well there too. Uh, 230's average actual weaning weight over those 12 calves that she's weaned so far, uh, or 11 calves she's weaned so far. This is her 12th calf on the ground here and we're weaning those today. But her average weaning weight has been 554. Average adjusted weaning weight is 583. So, you know, that would be above her average in our operation. We've kept all of her heifer calves. Not because we knew she was going to last until she was 14 years old, uh, but because they were good heifers. They were born early. They looked nice. They always weighed, you know, uh, above uh, the herd average ratio. And so we've got five of her heifers back in our cow herd. So in terms of efficiency of the operation, she's kind of like your ideal cow. Ideal because she has done pretty much everything right every year for a long time. So if you want to talk about longevity as an important part of reducing costs, minimizing costs, because you don't have to develop a new heifer every year to replace her, it's an important aspect. And she's been extremely productive from that standpoint. What are the takeaways from this study and these observations for Oklahoma producers? Well, everybody's probably got a cow like this in their herd, okay? I'm not trying to tell you that she's necessarily anything special compared to other people's herds around. Everybody's probably got really productive cows like this. The thing is, do you have the records and the information to be able to pick them out and to be sure and save females or heifers out of those really good cows that have stood the test of time. So that's one thing and we'd encourage everyone to uh, go to your link on, on SUNUP and check out the record keeping software fact sheet that we have. A lot of good information there for people to help them in their record keeping efforts. A second thing is uh, that we encourage people to do is use that information uh, to gradually improve your herd productivity, especially from a reproductive standpoint and a longevity standpoint. Um, reproduction is not high in heritability, but it is heritable. And if you are able to take advantage 
of cows that do a good job year after year after year, eventually you'll wind up with a cow herd that really fit their environment well and are very efficient from that standpoint. And make your job a little easier on a lot of fronts. Absolutely. She's kind of a prob been a problem-free cow. The guys out here tell us that they like this cow because she's never been a problem. In terms of late calving, odor problems, she always has, always has a, had a good attitude. So those are all good things. Okay. Dave Lawman, great information. And for a link to those uh, resources that Dave mentioned, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.